For decades, the Association of Southeast Asian Nations, or ASEAN, has played a significant role in global seafood production and consumption. With 600 million people and a growing middle class, the region is ideally positioned to serve as a primary global supplier of seafood to domestic and global markets. Building sustainability into fisheries and aquaculture operations, particularly at the small scale, is a critical step for maintaining global food security. As the ASEAN community prepares to form a single economic community at the end of 2015, developing regional approaches that foster sustainable seafood production is more important than ever. We have hundreds of millions of people. And it's something that is really important for this region to really uh, work together to sustain their fisheries and also the livelihood of their fishermen. Current approaches to fisheries and aquaculture improvement in the region have created a gap between the desires of the market and the realities for seafood producers that needs to be bridged for sustainability to be realized. Buy-in from producers in ASEAN will only be successful if sustainability improvement tools consider their realities, especially for small-scale operators. Small-scale shrimp production in ASEAN is around 15 to 17 percent. Larger or bigger-scale shrimp farmer can afford to pay for the certification. However, the small-scale, how are we going to pay for the certification. Our fishery sector have a, a lot of problem now, and any improvement of that is good for first one for fishmen and uh, for us. In December 2013, stakeholders from around the region gathered to discuss the development of a fishery improvement project protocol and a shrimp standard for Southeast Asia. It's the way of doing business here in a region. I think it's very, very, uh, very dynamic. We have so many family-based operations in ASEAN. Even the structure of our boats are kind of different from that of other parts of the world. How they do fishing is entirely different. How the sharing scheme is done is also different. Covering an area of approximately 13 million square kilometers, ASEAN is one of the largest marine areas in the world. The FIP protocol for ASEAN seeks to define a starting point and steps for fisheries improvement that are accessible to fisheries of all sizes and gear types. A lot of standard, a lot of NGOs are not thinking about the fishers. And that's important in this region. There are some millions of small-scale fishers are depending their lives, their family, their livelihood in fisheries. Uh, and no one seems to think about them. They always think about the fish. We injected social benchmarks, which is quite kind of different from other accreditations or protocols, hoping that this FIP protocol will somehow capture the, the peculiarities of our fishery with the end view of improving. If we focus with the people, we alleviate them from poverty, then it's easier for them to understand that they also can contribute to sustainable in fisheries. Building structure around the starting point will foster improvement and may also spark support through grants and impact investors. Current international certification schemes meet the expectations of Western buyers with sustainability commitments. However, using these standards in ASEAN has not resulted in farmers embracing sustainability practices. There are so many changes that has to be made before we will be able to comply with all the requirements. Small scale shrimp farmers in Asia, they face difficulties in meeting the requirements that are being asked by the buyers in Europe or in uh, US markets. There are a lot of requirements on environment, food safety, and also social issues. But then, actually, maybe currently beyond their capabilities or authorities. An interim solution is needed to provide a more feasible pathway for ASEAN shrimp farmers. Incentivizing improved performance, both environmental and social, 
will support food security and safeguard the livelihoods of small-scale shrimp farmers. The shrimp standard was built by ASEAN stakeholders and integrates the existing country-level Good Aquaculture Practice Standards, or GAPS, along with Seafood Watch criteria, which allows it to be recognized by buyers with sustainability commitments. Sustainable production goals can only be achieved if producers, fish farmers and fishermen in the region have achievable goals to reach. They must be provided with the tools and knowledge to implement sustainable practices. Tools that will benefit all levels of the supply chain, especially the small scale. The ASEAN FIP is a very good stepping stone towards a good management system in this region. And hopefully with this FIP protocol, we'll be able to ensure that whatever improvements there is in the fishery, there is an inclusive growth on the part of our fisher, especially the small ones. I do uh, hope that uh, this will be an opportunity for small scale to enter into the international market via this program. ASEAN stakeholders are committed to ensuring a sustainable future for its seafood industry and want to hear from you. Get involved in the conversation.